Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Granite Rock's Product Knowledge Seminar. My name is Jackie Serrano, and I will be your host today. For today's seminar, we have a very special guest who is an expert in the world of natural stone products. We hope you are all as excited and ready to learn as we are. For everyone's information, we will be recording this session to grant replay access to those who are unable to join our live event today. Before we get started, we ask everyone to please keep yourselves muted and camera turned off. The chat is open, so we encourage questions or comments throughout the meeting. If you happen to have a question, please add it to the chat section and we will try to answer them as soon as possible. I will now hand it off to Ashton. Alrighty, guys. We're on behalf of Stone Universe, one of your guys is a natural stone partners. So our company was started in 1999 in Gilroy, California. We started by importing slate tiles from India, and then we slowly started adding different applications of limestone. We have we are a national su supplier. We have six locations nationwide. We have Seattle, Bay Area, Los Angeles, Houston, Wisconsin, and Baltimore. We import stone from all over the world, including India, Spain, Turkey, China, Brazil. OK, so we are a wholesale supplier. And we do not sell to contractors, architects, or designers. We only sell to our dealer market, you know, so anytime you guys are sending customers over to us, that sort, you don't have to worry about us selling direct to a contractor or, you know, a retail customer. Alrighty, guys, so I'll jump into it. So why natural stone? So natural stone gives you durability, the ability to withstand the test of time with very minimal wear and tear over time. Environmentally friendly, unlike artificial building materials, natural stone requires little energy for its manufacture. Ease of maintenance requires little and far out maintenance. And character, very unique. No two pieces of stone are exactly the same and retain its natural beauty. Alrighty, guys. So the first item I'll go over is flagstone. Flagstone is sold in two different thicknesses. It's one inch and two inch plus minus, meaning it can vary up to a quarter inch either side. It is all irregular cuts of stone, and it's sold it per weight. So anytime you guys are getting pricing through one of your reps, or you know you always get a price per weight. Our pallets come two tons in a pallet. A one inch pallet covers approximately 300 square feet. A two inch pallet covers approximately 150 square feet. So remember the only. The only measurement of flagstone is thickness. And they're sold per weight in full pallets only and there's two tons. So the types of flagstone we carry, which is the type of stone we have basalt, limestone, sandstone, quartzite and slate. So, and one thing about our stones, they're all very dense. I think uh, what do you call, uh, if I remember correctly, 18,000 PSI is our, you, you would say, weakest stone, and we have some that go up all the way up to 24,000 PSI. Okay, now I'll get into our pavers and rock face. Excuse me, Ashton? Yes. Can you bring it to the beginning? I got to take a picture or something, please. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Just tell me when to stop, okay? Right there. Go up a little bit. Stop. Perfect. You are the man. Thank you. No worries. Thank you. All righty, guys. Okay, so getting back into it. So pavers and rock face. So one cool thing about our patterns, so a lot of from a lot of suppliers, when you buy a pattern, you have to buy the full pattern kits. For us, we sell individual sizes. So meaning you can if your customer needs a thousand square feet of let's say a certain stone, they don't have to get the pattern, they can get an individual size. Like nowadays we're seeing a lot of customers like the bigger formats. Like 24 by 36 or 24 by 24, so they can get that size individually. It's all price. It's all it's all in your price book. 
you, know, you can get the pattern. If you want to get a pattern, what we do is you tell us how many square feet you need, and our guys will pull the pattern. Because all the sizes come in separate colors, so we make the pattern for you guys, or your customer is able to get a certain individual size. And 12 by 12, 12 by 24, 24, 24, 24, 36. And the difference between a rock face and a paver, when in speaking about this, rock face is when it's all four side rock face, like a chisel snap there, versus when we, we call something a paver, it's a four side song. Now, getting to Versailles pattern or what some people also call a French pattern, it's a, it's a smaller pattern, and these ones come as in kits only, Versailles or slash French patterns. This is the smaller ones, 8x8, 8x16, 16x16, and 16x24. Now we'll get into our coping slash cap. So we offer bull noses and ease edge. Our bull noses are one long side bull nose. East edge or east edge or modern edge copings are one side modern edge. They come in either 12 by 24, 14 by 24, and 16 by 24. They come inch and a quarter thick, inch and a half thick, or two inch. So now for our column or wall caps. Our column or wall caps, they are four side rock face. All four sides are always rock face. The surface is a natural finish. 12 by 24, 14, 24, 16, 24, 22 by 22, 24 by 24, 26 by 26, and 29 by 20. Now getting into our slabs and treads. So all of our slabs come prefabricated. They are all four side rock face except for our California gold, which is a four side sawn edge. But all of our other slabs are all four side rock face and our slabs come 72 by 36 or a 60 by 36. Our treads, which are 12 by 48, 16 by 60 or 18 by 72. Those are three side rock face, one long side sandwich. All two inches thick. So getting into our steps, all of our steps come 16 by 48 by six inches. Four side rock face and the surface is a natural finish. Okay, our window seals, they come 24 inches long by three inches by two inches. And as you guys can see in the picture, the application of them, you know, basically just a Wayne Scott seal. Um, so getting into our driveway pavers. So we have driveway pavers, six by six, six by nine, and eight by four, inch and a half to two inches thick. Those are our driveway pavers. And what a cobblestone is, the application is the same for both of them. But why we differentiate a cobblestone, these are not gauged in size, meaning anytime you order a cobblestone of three and a half by three and a half, or the cobblestones of eight by four by two, these are not gauged, these are not exact size, and these can vary, and we sell these per piece. And so the driveway pavers, they are exact, the six by six is a six, true six by six or six by nine, which is a cobblestone. They can vary up to a, you know, I'd say a quarter to half inch either way. If something is three and a half by three and a half by three and a half, it can be a three by three by three or a four by four by three. That's why whenever that's we differentiate it, it's talking about them. The driveway paper is gates versus a cobblestone is not. Getting into our stepping stones now. So we offer stepping stones and pebbles. Stepping stones, we offer irregular finish. They're all inch and a half thick. We offer stepping stone hearts, squares, circles. And we also offer bag pebbles now. 30 pound bags, 50 bags in a bag. They're one to three inches in size. Now getting to our tiles and porcelain pavers. Our porcelain pavers are made 
from the ceramic tile used for both indoor and outdoor application. They come 24 by 24, three quarter inches thick or 12 by 24, three quarter inches thick. And one thing different about our porcelain line, we mimic our natural stone color. So you can get a California gold porcelain paver, you can get a autumn mist porcelain paver, antique black, multi classic. You know, we that's one thing that differentiates our porcelain line, which so what some people sometimes end up doing is they'll do, you know, porcelain like in, a, in their patio area and they'll put natural stone more in the pool area, or they'll actually use a natural stone coatings with their porcelain. So getting into our travertine, we sell travertine and paver Versailles kits. We have antique ivory, antique walnut, antique scabos, and antique gris, or better known as silver travertine. All come in 160 square feet pallets, the Versailles French patterns, inch and a quarter thick. And we also have coatings for them, 12 by 24 and 16 by 24, four Moses, one long side. So now getting into our ledger panels. This is a Z panel, six by 24. They go from either three quarter inches thick to an inch and a quarter. The inch and a quarter ones are our cement back ledger panels, which the difference between a cement back and a, what do you call a panel that's glued on a mesh together. The cement back, you, you get more of a true veneer look, you get bigger pieces of stone on there versus when you have a panel that's glued together on a mesh, you get smaller pieces of stone. Already now our thin veneer. So one difference between thin veneer and ledger panel, ledger panels always come in the Z panel form six by 24 and our thin veneers are all loose pieces of stone. So as you can see the picture of the installs, these are all, all the pieces of stone are all loose. So these come 200 square feet in a pallet for the flats and 80 linear feet for the corners. But these are all loose pieces versus the panels are six by 24 panels. Okay. And any questions guys, any comments you guys have? So there's a, there's a question in the chat. Um, when you mentioned stone face versus paver, did you say a paver has cut edges versus stone face is split? So yeah, so uh, what we a paver is four side sawn edge, and what the rock, uh, what do you call what we call a rock face, is a four side rock face, which is basically chiseled or snapped edges. That's the difference between those. Thank you. Anybody else have questions? Don't hesitate. Put them in the chat or raise your hand. We'll pay attention. By the way, that flagstone, how you put all the, um, how much square footage, that was awesome. I definitely took a photo of that. Definitely going to help out now when we sell flagstone. Awesome, awesome. Hey, Ashton, can you talk a little bit more about the dur durability of porcelain versus ceramic? Yeah, of course, of course, of course. So porcelain, what do you call, it's made, so why there's not ceramic pavers made in the market yet from any supplier because the main difference is porcelain is made at a higher temperature and the main difference is porcelain will not absorb water versus ceramic will that's why you don't see you know it's basically the same process to make both products they're both man-made products porcelain and ceramic but porcelain is made at a higher temperature which makes it durable that's why it's you can have the application outside versus ceramic you cannot because ceramic will absorb water versus porcelain will not Any other questions, guys? Come on, guys, don't be shy. Um, why don't you talk about what you see for the future, um, future trends coming up, um, and then I'm going to ask a second question. Um, what are some of the common pitfalls that we should, as experts, be able to guide our customers away from or around? So one thing, when installing natural stone, right, as one thing, you guys, a lot of your guys' locations have, the granite rock locations have displays of ours, but you have to remember natural stone, no two pieces look alike. So I, we always recommend when your customers, if they're going based off a display for a color, let's say that has a lot of variation, like a California gold or an ebony black, or sometimes even an antique scabos, that you either request pictures of the current lot or even samples 
through whoever your sales rep is. So at least your customer, they understand what the product they're getting right now. And speaking on trends, uh, what do you call one thing we're seeing that the flagstone is what do you call it used to be our top seller. I'd probably say five, roughly three to five years ago. Right now we're seeing the cuts, the cuts pavers that are in a bigger size, like 24, 24, 24, 36, these bigger sizes they are taking off a lot. And it's mainly the colors are like the blacks, the grays, you know, but those are the tones we're seeing moving a lot. Of. Good, thank you. Um, okay, guys, what are what are you guys seeing out there in the field, and what are your challenges um, that that uh, you might have an expert help you with? So, one recommendation from my side, just speaking on natural stone. Another thing is when customers are getting natural stone, we always recommend that they seal it right away after the installation. So, you know, let's say something spills on there or, you know, the color can change. It's a natural stone, so there can be a reaction. So what we recommend is any non-acidic sealer for the stone. So it will, you know, keep the stone look intact. And, you know, if let's say wine or any, anything, even motor oil spills on it, it will protect against, you know, some type of reaction causing the stone to change color or something of that sort. Ashton, do you mind talking a little bit about the installation process for the porcelain pavers? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, porcelain pavers is we don't recommend to sand set ever. It's always, you know, mortar concrete setting that we recommend because it is a three quarter inch thick. So it needs to be locked in place versus, you know, uh, some natural stones, the inch and a half or two inch products you can sand set and you're good to go. So and uh, it's porcelain so it is a man-made product so you always have to make sure it's more and set in the proper way what about prepping like prepping the ground is it pretty much the same or yeah it is actually pretty much the same yeah when you're when you're doing a mortar install pretty much the same any other questions out there bronson you have any questions how about um how about finishes maybe talk about sealers and such i don't know so ours natural stones they all come in a natural finish except for our basalt which comes in a flame thermal finish uh sealers we don't there's not a specific brand that we recommend any our only recommendation is when you're sealing the natural stone they use a, a non-acidic sealer a lot of times so you'll get sometimes get you know Contractors, who, you know, that have been in the market a lot of times, they always think like using muriatic acid or anything of similar to that sort is always good for cleaning and sealing the stone, which we don't recommend. And like certain sandstones, you can get a because they have a sandstone has iron deposits, you can get a reaction which will cause rust or something of that similar look. Um, since you touched on flamed, um, can you talk about that process and what it means? So what a flame process is, it's basically how it's named. They they flame the surface of the stone. So it's thermal. First thermal is a consistent finish on the surface, and they flame it, which gives it a, a little bit of, I'd say, it looks a little bit rougher edge. If you guys want, we can send you guys all samples of our basalt. But it's basically flaming the surface of the stone to give it a more consistent kind of, you know, what do you call surface of that sort. Any other questions, guys? Any? Oh, I have a question. Um, yes. What would you say right now is like your most popular products? I uh, again, it's it's the blacks and the grays. So like our basalt, black basalt, our gray mist, antique black. Probably say those are some of our top sellers right now. Perfect. Thank you. Any other questions, guys? Last chance. All right then. Um, thank you all for joining us today. We appreciate your participation and hope it was of your liking. We also hope to see you all here Tuesday, October 25th to further your, expand your knowledge on brick products. Our guest speaker will be Elizabeth from McNear Brick, same time as today, 11, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Once again, I would like to thank Ashton and Mo for taking time today to share their knowledge with us. That concludes today's product knowledge seminar. Hope everyone has a great rest of your day. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you, Mo. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Have a great one, guys. Thanks. Thank you.